And you think you have body dysmorphia? Well, I hope so. I mean, I hope it's not really what I see is real. Well, yeah, I'm not big into labels. Um, I think they can really kind of restrict us. I agree. But if we were using labels, that would not be one that I would place on you. That describes someone that there's a preoccupation with perceived defects or flaws in physical appearance. There are repetitive behaviors, mirror checking, excessive grooming, skin picking, reassurance seeking, repetitive mental acts, comparing appearance with others. But the primary thing that sets this apart from you is with body dysmorphia, there's almost always a focus on one particular thing. You don't like your nose, you don't like your teeth, you don't well, like your true. chin, you don't like your stomach. I don't like you don't, things, so you don't but like I focus anything. On, I think one thing at a time, like it used to be my teeth. Lately, I think it's been my nose. Yeah. Then why won't you smile? Because, she's because I don't like that either, else. but that's not my focus right this Okay, <laughs> then why did you go through nine dresses? Because it made my nose look bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> A lot of what you're doing ritualistically would very likely be considered obsessive compulsive. Mm -hmm. Obsessive in thought and compulsive in behavior. And your day's very regimented. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if you disrupt that and you just had to just get up and throw something on and leave instead of going through the rituals that you go through, your anxiety level would go way up. Mm -hmm. I asked you a question early on. I said, when you go out and you fear judgment, I said, what do you say to yourself? And you said, I don't know. And I want to explain to you what we're talking about here is you're having a conversation with yourself as internal dialogue. When we think things so much for so long, we get into something that I refer to as automatic thoughts. Mm -hmm. We talk at 125 words a minute, mm -hmm. but we think at 12 to 1400 words a minute. So what you have to do is you have to sit down and unpack mm -hmm. my automatic thoughts. I'm going to write them down and I'm going to figure out what is it I'm saying to myself. And then challenge it and say, is this accurate? Does this fit reality? And if it doesn't, can I generate an alternative to it mm -hmm. that is authentic? Mm 